Hello, hello guys, how are you? This is Ashley, if you are new, and we're going to plan a memory spread in my Erin Condren planner for the week of August the 7th through the 13th. Oh my gosh, I'm so sleepy and tired today, so if I'm out of it, that's why. So this is the week of Joshua's birthday, and I apologize, I've been working with Stain again. <laughs> like, I feel like every time I start to film, I've been working with Stain, and I've almost gotten all of it off. It was really bad, and I've almost gotten it all out of the corners of my fingers, but it's still there. I've been working on it again and again, and doing some projects and things, so I apologize. But um, this is from Nicole Alexia Designs. It is Ohana. Joshua does um, like cartoon voices. It's like a little known fact about him. He would probably kill me if I told anybody that, but he can do the stitch voice really well. And so, yeah. So we're going to do that for his birthday because I thought it was just appropriate. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that. And I am out of breath. I'm exhausted. Um, the heat with the heat index, it's 115. Like, what the freaking heck, man? <laughs> it is boiling outside. We went and did um, some grocery shopping today. We went to Sam's yesterday, me and the kids. And then today, me and the kids went to Kroger to get like the rest of the stuff we needed because like we can't get everything from Sam's. We can most things, but not like everything. And there were just a few things that I noticed were cheaper um, at Kroger when we went to Sam's last um, month. Um, I just noticed that some of the things were a lot cheaper. And I was like, well, we'll go ahead and go to Kroger and get them um, this month and just kind of see how that balances out. And I feel like we got a lot um, better deals doing it both. Like, and I feel like we're pretty good, pretty well set up for the month. Um, I spent the same amount. I spent a little bit less than I spent last month. And I feel like I got more. So that's good. So I stayed within budget and still had some of my budget left over. And I got more. So, and I had to buy all new household stuff too. And I... Stayed in budget with that too. So I was really proud of myself. I was like, man, you're doing good. And to be honest, I would, I would say that I would never say this to my husband, but I totally would. But <laughs> to be honest, I feel like I shop much better without him there because he, um, I don't know, he just distracts me. And he's always trying to try new things like, ooh, this looks so good. And I know he's never going to eat that. But he just gets, like, his stomach is way, like, his eyes are way bigger than his stomach. And his eyes are way bigger than his appetite. Like, he thinks he's going to want something. He's never going to eat it. So, anyway, it's just um, easier if I go by myself. I feel like I get more things that we actually need and are going to use and we will use well. I feel like I do my budget better when he's not there, but... It is very helpful for him to come, like, help me with the kids and everything because I'm not going to lie, like, Sam's by herself. They were really, really good, but it was just exhausting. Like, get the kids out of the cart, get the groceries into the, like, it was just on and on. And it was like, oh my gosh, I am tired. It was a lot. So, I feel like I was... A crazy lady like trying to get everything accomplished but I did it and they helped me and they were very sweet so I was very proud of them they did really well they helped their mom and it was nice so Jensen was probably my best helper when we got home it was so boiling hot and that precious baby that two-year-old baby was in the heat, and he overheats so quickly, but he was in the heat, man, and he was walking from the house to the to the van, from the house to the van, from the house to the van, like, helping me carry stuff, and, like, I was like, baby, why don't you go rest? I was like, you're really hot. You're, you need to rest, and he was like, there's more stuff. 
And he just kept going back and getting more things and helping me out. And he was just the most precious thing ever. And I was like, okay, okay then. Just go ahead. He was so sweet. And I appreciated his help very much because I was very hot. And I was not feeling it. I was ready to get done as soon as humanly possible. But he helped better than anyone else. I was like, dude, you have great things in store. So, today we went to Kroger and then we went and got slushies from Sonic because it was so hot and I was so tired. Also, for whatever reason, Jensen woke up last night in the middle of the night and was crying and I was so tired. I just got up and like put him in my bed. I was like, come here. And I just put him in our bed. And he went to sleep. And it was okay. But he was just everywhere. He was kicking me in the back. He was all over me. And when he sleeps with you, like he wants to be right on top of you. You know, like he's not one of those people that's just like, oh, I'm sleeping in your bed. Okay, well, I'm just going to roll over here and we'll be okay. We have a king size bed. Plenty of room for his two-year-old little self in between us. But no, no, he wants to be like on top of me. And it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> dude. Oh, move over a little bit. But no, no, he doesn't. He's just going to be right on top of me. So that was fun. And I did not get much rest at all. And now I'm just like dead to the world, like tired. So I think it's completely normal. For me to be like that after no sleep at all. And a busy day yesterday. And the heat. And I'm growing human. So you know there's that. Um, <laughs> I was like why am I so tired? And Joshua was like um, well babe you, you're you growing a human. I mean that is a reason in and of itself to be tired. And I was like mm, that's stupid. <laughs> I was like no it's not. That's not, that's not good enough. But apparently it is good enough and I need to like chill the heck out and just give myself a little bit of grace. I'm not always good at that. But I just like refuse to say like I'm tired because I'm pregnant and no. Because there's nothing I can do about that. I'm going to be pregnant for quite a while. So I don't like to admit that that causes me to be like overly exhausted or anything, you know. Like I just need to pull myself up by my bootstraps and just keep on going and sometimes it doesn't really work that way <laughs> sometimes you have to rest and chill out I'm gonna move these because I don't like them being the same but yeah so anyways we got all that done we are fridge and pantry are very well stocked and now we're ready for another month and then I have to switch gears because there's so many things going on in my life right now. Um, so many things. But um, I will definitely share more about that when I actually do my weekly video because you're going to hear me chatting about it the whole time. But let's talk about this week that had passed. So I, um, this was the week of Joshua's birthday. And it was also the day that we found out what little baby was I haven't even announced that on my other channel yet what the baby is um but we found out and it was on his birthday and he wanted to find out on his birthday um why I don't really know why he wanted to let's see should I go like in the order yeah that's the way it is anyway so that's fine um, it's not going to be the same and they're going to be all wonky, but that's okay. I really don't care. I'm just going to go with it. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it was fun. And then we went and did the gender ultrasound and then it was a horrific storm. And I mean like a horrific storm. It was so bad. Um, Oh, that's so much blue over there. Here, let's let's do some blue over here. I know I'm messing all these patterns up, and 
you guys are probably like, what are you doing, lady? Are you crazy? Yes. Yes, pretty much. But anyways, I, um, it was such a bad storm. And just before that, our, our van window, you guys, we have had so much trouble with this van. Like it has been absolutely insane. <laughs> we got the engine replaced, $12,000 engine. Okay. We got that replaced. That sucked really bad, but okay. It's done, right? So who cares? It's, it's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. It's done. It's finished. We're okay now. Okay. Well then after the engine, the, um, radiator and the cool engine cooler crapped out. Okay, I have a little one come in here. But um, the engine cooler and the um, um, what am I saying? The engine cooler and the um, radiator blew. And so we were like, okay, great, fantastic. So we got those fixed. Then the um, alternator went out for the third time since we've had the vehicle. Now, mind you, we've only had this vehicle for two years, okay? So that blew for the third time. Okay, well, we fixed that. Well, then we thought everything was fixed, and lo and behold, the thermostat and the, um, what else is the thermostat? And the, um, crab, what was it that he fixed? The thermostat and the water pump. He had to fix those. Now it seems to be okay, but it's not perfect. Like it's still not acting quite right. You know what I mean? It's still not there yet. Like something's still going on with it. We just don't exactly know what it is. So that's not very comforting like that's still very unnerving that we don't even know what's going on with it and it's um it's just acting up oddly and so I'm looking for some numbers in here I don't know if I've put them in here or not but I need some date dots but yeah so that's what we've been dealing with this van and it has just been one thing after another. Okay, I have these pink ones. We're going to go with that. So, it has just been like a never-ending battle with it for a long time. Like, ever since, I feel like when the engine went out, everything just kind of went out. And it's just been like a chain of events that has just been absolutely awful. And that is our only vehicle because we only have the one. So what are you supposed to do, right? Like every time it goes wrong, like my husband has to like drive his work truck home and then we're kind of stranded at home until he gets it fixed. And so like this last time, like he was going to let the shop fix it, but they were not going to get to it for like a week. And we were like, we can't wait that long. And it takes forever for your insurance to um, cover a rental car and all of that. We've already been down that road. That took forever. It took so long for us to be reimbursed. And it was just a nightmare. And it was like, oh my gosh, forget it. We don't want to go through that trouble. It's just been a mess. So it's just like, sorry if you can hear them. They're yelling back and forth at each other. But um, it's just been crazy. Okay, the little person that keeps coming in here over and over and over and over and over and over to tattle on his brother is driving me bananas. But, you know, it just is what it is. Okay, I'm going to put a couple of things that happened. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to save these and we're just going to go with it. Okay. I like these because I really like the bow and the foil on it, but we're just going to save this. We're going to use it for something else. Okay. So, um, let's see. On Monday, um, this was a really, really bad day. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. So Monday, um, first of all, 
I did cleaning, which is normal for my Monday. That's not a part of the bad day because that's just like normal life. Okay, so let's get my cleaning sticker because that did happen. And then, um, I'm just going to put this little bathroom one. So there's that. And we're going to put, where's my hair pen? Here it is. We're going to put um, cleaning day. Every day is cleaning day, but this is the day I try to have a reset going on. Okay. All right. So there's that. Then we got rid of our cats if you guys heard me talk about that in a video oh my gosh it was the biggest nightmare ever in the universe we rescued these kittens we were told something totally different when we did rescue them than actually was the case but it wasn't her fault she didn't know she just rescued them herself and couldn't keep them so we took them in and Yes, and so then the cats had ringworm, gave us all ringworm, like forever. It takes forever to get rid of that mess. So we treated the cats, we took them to the vet, treated the cats, got their shots, got them fixed, got them all the things. And then, um, cats picked up. Now one of these cats was not a very good cat. <laughs> He was mean. We thought he was a girl. We were told he was a girl at first, and he was so mean. He was just not a good cat. He made a lot of noise. He would wake Jensen up in the middle of the night like they both would because they would be like, they would put their paw under the door and like jerk his door to try and open it, you know? They were trying to get in, but you know what? I think I'm going to... I'm going to take these off, and I know we're at day by day now, and I'm totally rewinding on you, but I just think this is going to add so much to the spread, and I really want to use these, especially because it's his birthday week, so we're going to use them. I just saw them sitting here, and I'm like, yes, I'm going to use those. Um, so anyways, they would wake Jensen up in the middle of the night. It was very frustrating because there's really nothing you can do. Like, I wasn't going to lock them up, you know, because they would be miserable, and there really wasn't a big enough place to lock them up without them being miserable. So, I didn't want to do that. But, they were waking Jensen up and it was really awful. And so then, we got them to kind of calm down on that. And then they started peeing and pooping all over the place. Like, in my blanket and pillow basket, they would do it. On the dirty laundry in the laundry room, they would do it. And I mean peeing and pooping. I've never, ever had cats to do that. Ever. Like, litter box clean. Know where your litter box is. They're fixed. Like, everything clean and ready to go. Peeing and pooping all over the house. Insanity. And, and, I don't know if it was just one of them or if it was both of them because the litter box would be full and I would change it twice a week. But, yeah. So, someone was using the litter box. I don't know if they just had to go to the bathroom like an astronomical amount. I don't, and they were both doing it. I don't know. I don't know. But somebody was using the litter box because I was cleaning it out twice a week and then they're still peeing and pooping everywhere. Everywhere they could find fabric to pee and poop on there you go they're peeing and pooping on it well obviously that's not going to work I mean no like my house is it is not immaculate by any stretch of the imagination but it is sanitary and clean you know what I mean like it's messy but it's clean you do you know what I'm saying like it's not gross and that was nasty and I was freaking out I was doing so much laundry a day because I kept finding they were doing it in the kids. Like I, I had to buy them bins for their clothing because they had these like pull out drawers that went underneath their bed. It's just a lot easier with all the kids. They can just take their laundry, dump it in the bin. But I couldn't use those because they were peeing and pooping in them. So I had to buy them ones with lids. And if they left the lid off or the cats would get the lid off somehow, there they go, peeing and pooping all in their clothes. 
I was having to like wash all of their clothes multiple times a week, like their entire clothes. Like if it, if it wasn't hang up clothes, I had to wash the entire wardrobe over and over and over. It was insane. I mean, insane. So I was like, no, I can't take this anymore. Like I really can't. Not to mention, like, I'm not even supposed to be changing their litter box anyways because I'm pregnant and they're, like, really weird about that, like, super sticklers about it because you can actually gain, like, toxins from their poop and stuff when you're pregnant. Now, most of the time, it's if your cat has been, like, had access to outside, which they didn't go outside, but still, they brought fleas. Like, there were, we had a problem with fleas in our yard. I don't know why. It, I guess because there's so many people that walk their dog, like, right on the sidewalk our our like subdivision has like sidewalks and they go into people's driveways and like you the people just walk their dogs and everything and there's so many people that walk their dogs I don't know if that's what it was but we had fleas all in our yard not in our house but in our yard and the cats had gotten out uh, out and they had a flea on them like I was checking them every day for fleas and then lo and behold, one day they got outside and they had a flea on them and I treated them. <laughs> I got the flea collars. I got the flea drops. I got the flea shampoo. Like I treated them with every single thing that you can. Like the medicine, you ordered the flea medication that lasts for 12 months. I did that. I did the shampoo and the collar. I was like, you are not having fleas and bringing them in my house. Like that would just take the cake. Like I can't. And so anyway, like we just could not deal with them anymore. Like I couldn't, I just, I couldn't stop them from peeing and pooping everywhere. And I couldn't take it anymore. Like I literally just could not take it anymore. So I got them picked up and it was an absolute fiasco. Like I'm sure when I did the weekly video on this, like I talked about it because it was absolutely horrific. It really was like the man who picked him up, I was told the wrong thing to do apparently and he like called me a liar and Joshua was out there and Joshua was about to fight for my honor <laughs> and it was not about to be a pretty sight I was like oh boy like I saw his I don't know if he did but I saw his life flash before his eyes and <laughs> I think he realized it later on like oh crap I probably should leave this place because it's about to get ugly and he ended up leaving but yeah, so, um, it was absolutely crazy. It was a crazy day. You need to go play with your brothers, Bubba. So, anyways, very high stress day. And then, then, oh then, I'm going to use this little lady with the face mask for the high stress day. But, but, but wait, there's more. Like, then, Alarg decided that he wanted to cut chop hack his hair off and right in the front because he didn't want it to stick up anymore and he chopped his hair off and it was awful it was so awful it was so so awful <laughs> Bad day. Okay. Tuesday, um, <laughs> this was just like a relaxing, like, oh, let me play in planners. I'm going to play with some stickers. We're just going to kind of calm down and trying to regroup from how bad Monday was. It was just such a bad day. Like, I felt bad for having to get rid of the cats to begin with and rehome them. Um, we made sure they were going to the best place possible. It's actually an amazing place. They find homes for them really quickly. And... They just treat them really well. It's actually like where we took them to get their, you know, neuter surgery and their all their treatment and stuff for the ringworm and all of that stuff. Like it's such a good facility. We had them come and pick them up. Like we didn't just drop them off somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like there are crappy people who do things like that. We were trying to do it the right way. And then they were so mean to me. <laughs> <sighs> But I was trying to regroup from that and I just, it, being pregnant, like I just like, <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> like 
I can't deal with that much mental, you know, all in one day. Like, it takes a lot out of me. And it's crazy because I'm not a very emotional person. But when it's stuff like that, it's just way overstimulating. And it was just like, okay, I, I need, like, here, I'm going to use this girl. Because that's what I feel like. I'm, I'm trying to chill out and calm down from the day before. Okay, so then Joshua went to the doctor because I finally got him to go after knowing him for basically his entire life. Um, I finally got him to go to the doctor for anxiety and it has been, you know, this was the 8th right now. It's the 28th or it's... Today's not the 28th. It's the 23rd. And he is doing so good. Like, so, so good. And I am so happy and so proud of him. Because he actually went and the doctor was like, um, hello, dude. Like, you have anxiety. Let's get it fixed. And it has been so amazing for him. He's suffered with it his literally his entire life and he just refused to go and it's like seriously bad. He has like severe PTSD from his childhood. He just had literally the worst childhood you could ever imagine and he had he has severe PTSD from that and um yeah, he um he finally went. So, okay. So, this is when he got his anxiety medication. So, I do want to mark that because he started taking it the next morning. And it has been so amazing. I'm so proud for him. Like, it's just really helped him, like, just chill the heck out. I mean, it was so bad. He was just getting so overly stressed out and, like, just overwhelmingly just I mean I don't even know what else to say like it's so much more than stress you know what I mean but just so overwhelmingly maxed out emotionally where he was just freak like hyperventilating like freaking out and he hated it about himself because it made him feel so weak but I'm like dude no, <laughs> like this is not a weak thing. This is not, what are you, a girl or something? No, no, no. This is, you need to go get yourself taken care of. And this is a normal, like not normal for everyone, but fairly common thing to deal with. And you need to fix it. And it has just been so much better for him. Okay. So... Okay, so my phone just, the light on my phone just went out because I need to charge my battery. But that's okay. And this is when he started taking them, but he picked them up here. So I'm just going to put them there. Okay, so for Wednesday, Joshua had to work and he was supposed to be off this day. But you guys, I knew he wasn't going to be off. Who are we kidding her? Um, so I'm going to put a alarm clock because I'm going to put that he like got there in the nick of time to be able to make it to the doctor. And oh my gosh, I'm tired. Um, what do we want to put? I'm looking for an alarm clock. This one's fine. I'm sure there's an alarm clock here though, isn't there? Yeah. There's a watch. It, yeah, I think it's a watch. Could be supposed to be an alarm clock. It's a clock, so whatever. Same difference. Okay. Looks like an alarm clock when you put it down, but... Um, Joshua. Off. In the Nick of time and I scheduled it for late too but I knew I knew I scheduled it the latest they could do it okay 
And then we did our gender reveal, which I'm not going to say what the baby is because I don't think I have said that yet. So, you know, I'm going to put that up on this channel, like our little reveal. And the one that we did, we did just a little video. And so I'll put that up. It's a... Okay, and then it was a horrible, horrific, like we were going to do a really cute ginger reveal at church on Wednesday, but it was a horrific storm, and I mean like crazy, crazy storm, and the van window had gotten stuck a couple of days before that and broke, completely broke, would not come up, would not roll up, and so... <laughs> We were getting soaked in the storm on the way home from the doctor. It was horrible. It was so bad. Um, I don't know if I have any weather stickers in this one. Um, oh my goodness, it was so bad. But, um, man, here's some really cute little rain stickers, but they're huge. That's not going to work. Um, what am I going to do here? I have weather stickers, but do you think I know where they are? Because I really don't. Um, here's one. Let's use this one. So, church was canceled. And so we did just make a little video. So we made a, a video. And we put it on the internet. And so, oh, here's a little filmmaker sticker. So we'll just use that one. So I'll put ginger reveal video. Okay. So Thursday, oh, this was also his birthday, but we actually celebrated his birthday. I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this off. And I'm going to put that it was his birthday. Let me see if I can cover that up that I wrote on it with a birthday sticker. Um, we actually celebrated his birthday on Sunday, the Sunday before that, because he, um, we just got him his present and, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, so Thursday was just a chill day. I just did a lot of filming. I did some editing and uploading, all the filming youtube things. Just worked in my office all day, trying to get some stuff done and also trying to get some homeschool stuff done. It's almost time for a homeschool meetup and I am completely behind. <laughs> I'm so behind um, on all of it. I'm trying to, I'm like rushing to try and get it all done, but I'm not getting it done quick enough. There's just been so many things going on and yeah, I'm behind. So I need to get on the ball. I have a meeting with my volunteers tomorrow and so it will be okay. It's just like a lot. <laughs> So, okay, then I'm going to put the homeschool part right here. Okay, and that's crooked. Okay, let's see if we can get this done before my phone completely dies. Um, I'm going to put this one here. 
for filming because I did a lot of it. If I can get it. Okay. And I'm just going to put film edit upload. And then I'm going to put homeschool planning. Okay. Oh, so tired is what I wanted to put right here. I, I have more energy in the second trimester, but still so tired. Okay, so 11th. This was date night. Okay, so just someone that's feeling well. I almost thought we weren't going to get to go, but he ended up being okay enough to take him to my mom's. This was date night for me and Joshua. We've been trying to go like every other week. Um, and it was really fun. We, I don't even remember where we went on this night. I don't even remember. I think this was, we just went to dinner at Chili's. We had a date night the week before and we ended up going to, um, um, Outback and they spent the night and I just went and got them early the next morning but um, this time they just stayed there for just like an hour or two okay and um, what do I want to do Jensen wasn't feeling so hot but he was okay he just has he has an ear infection and he still has it so it's not really that fun I'm just going to put this guy. Yeah, he has an ear infection. Jensen. Not feeling so well. And then this one will be for... I'll just put this little car kids to moms and then I'll put date night at Chili's. And then I'll put date sticker. We just went to dinner, that's all. It's just a dinner. Just by yourself. We actually stopped at this new coffee place and Joshua got this like, I don't know, like iced something or other, but I didn't drink it because I had drank too much coffee. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna stick this one on here. It's big. I'm just gonna put it right there. Okay. And then on Saturday was just another one of those cleaning days, planning days, all the things. And I had to just get a bunch of chores done. Um, I tried to get them to clean their room, but do you think they did a good job? Definitely not. It is a mess. And right this second, it is a catastrophic mess upstairs. I don't even want to go up there. I'm afraid to even go, but I need to and I had a crap ton of laundry to work on because of the cats yeah I'm gonna put this right here on there because of that because of the laundry and then I'm gonna put I'm just gonna put this at grouchy person And see, um, maybe this one, yeah. This one, yeah. Okay, so we'll put 
the cleaning for that. And then I do want to put another one for the washing. That's really like all that went on. I know, how sad. It's not very eventful. But it was just, you know, getting things caught up and just trying to do the things, you know? Okay, why? Just why? Yes, why? I can't get it straight because it's on my pinky. It's not the best place to kind of make things go steady. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to put her beside the washing machine. Like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Okay. That's pretty much it. And then this was just church and revival was at night. Um, we had church at night for that. And I'm trying to think. Oh, the car messed up. Fantastic. That's what happened. So this was church. And I'm trying to remember what happened. Oh yeah. Okay. It was all our meeting. Okay. Church meeting. We missed church because our van broke down on us. This is when the alternator went out. Y'all, we've had so many issues. Okay. No church. Alternator. Yeah, it was so bad. We did have a youth meeting and we like limped to Joshua's work to get one of his work vans and I had to sit in the cargo area because there's no enough room for all of us. Okay, so we did that and then we, Joshua actually worked on the van while I went to, where is that sticker now? I'm going to put a Batman sticker because I think that's funny because he was like our hero. And I went to Revival and did nursery while he, it was a really bad day. <laughs> this was a bad day. Oh, it was such a bad day. Yeah. Okay. Joshua fixed the van. I did Revival and nursery by myself with the kids and more kids and people like dumped kids that weren't supposed to go in there <laughs> yeah it was a mess but that's okay I did church revival and nursery okay so that's that and yeah look how pretty so freaking pretty. So that is that. That is that for this week. That is Joshua's birthday week. Um, I do need to put something on the sidebar. I don't know what I'll put on here. I will put the top three things or the top most eventful. It's not going to be like the top three. I don't know. There's so many things that happened this week. Okay. But that is going to be that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.